example, we've been asked to find the mean and the standard deviation for the following continuous distribution, valid for the region between 0 and 1. So the mean for a continuous distribution is given by the integral from a to b, x times the probability distribution integrated with respect to x. So for our example, the mean is given by the integral between 0 and 1, x times 6x, 1 minus x. So first thing we're going to do is multiply out the brackets. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 of 6x squared minus 6x cubed. And then we need to perform the integration. So we put square brackets in now between 0 and 1. 6x squared becomes 2x cubed. And 6x cubed becomes minus 3 over 2x to the 4. So all we need to do is substitute in our limits. So we have 2 lots of 1 cubed minus 3 over 2 lots of 1 to the 4. Take away 2 lots of 0 cubed minus 3 over 2 lots of 0 to the 4. So this final bracket is all equal to 0. So I'm just left with 2 minus 3 over 2, which is 1 half. So I can say that the mean is equal to 1 half. So to find the standard deviation, I first of all need to find the variance, and then take the square root of it to get the standard deviation. So the variance is given by the integral between a and b, x squared this time times p of x, take away the mean squared. So for our example, we're going to have the integral between 0 and 1 of x squared times by 6x, 1 minus x. Take away, now mu was our mean, which was a half, so it's minus 1 half squared. So if we just take our integral, so it's the integral between 0 and 1, and expanding out the brackets, we'll get 6x cubed minus 6x to the 4. And then performing the integration, so 6x to the cubed goes as 6 over 4x to the 4, and then 6x to the 4 goes to 6x to the 5 over 5. So all we need to do is substitute in our limits. So we'll get 6 over 4, or 3 over 2, 1 to the 4, minus 6 over 5, 1 to the 5. Now all of this next part is going to be 0 because 0 to the 4 is 0 and 0 to the 5 is 0. So all we're going to end up with is 6 over 4 minus 6 over 5. And that can be simplified to give us 3 over 10. So therefore our variance is 3 over 10 minus a half squared, which is a minus one quarter. And therefore, simplifying this, we get one twentieth. So the variance is one twentieth. Therefore, the standard deviation is the square root of one over 20. And we have found both the standard deviation and our mean. So standard deviation is the square root of 1 over 20.
point t.